Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamer Dad channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, I like to follow developers on Twitter and just listen to what they say. That's all. I just listen, I just read. And sometimes, you know, because of their work, they will let off some steam on Twitter. That is how we usually get an insight into game development. Sometimes they would open up a conversation in terms of art, in terms of development, and they'll answer questions. It's just crazy. So if you know any developer that's on Twitter or whatever, I think some of them you can ask questions and they'll answer you if it's, you know, within their scope to actually give an answer. If it's not necessarily something super specific as to, oh, what date is this game coming out? They'll probably give you an answer. So I follow uh, two developers specifically that I want to go ahead and uh, go ahead and just basically point out. One of them is um, Fleur Marty, and this developer works with Warner Brothers Games uh, Montreal, developing and working on the game Gotham Knights. Now, this developer posted a few weeks ago. I've been trying to find a tweet, but I remember it was here. And they said basically once they you know saw some of the restrictions that were being put uh, in terms of uh, COVID that it just made them kind of tired and they wanted to just go back and lay down in their bed and not do anything for about two more weeks. I don't know where the post is. Um, I think <laughs> I think it, maybe this was it was deleted or maybe it was just a repost or a response to another post. I think that may have been it. But I remember actually reading that post and thinking to myself, man, it appears that this entire regional um, you know, pandemic response is very important because a lot of um, you know, different regions have their own challenges, have their own laws and whatever. So that's what we're seeing in terms of that. So I thought it was very important to point that out. Now, in Division World, um, the Division producer, Pali Hofstein, he posted... Uh, on January 4th, which is basically last week, he said, hiring people internationally during COVID is a nightmare. We're figuring it out, but damn, there are hurdles. And so people are asking him, is remote an option? He's saying it's complicated. There are tax considerations, regional labor law considerations, union considerations, and all the secure network cons you know, considerations and everything. And I think these are some of the challenges that they're facing. Game developer right now seems to be in a spot where, you know, as game devs are leaving their jobs, going to other jobs that are maybe paying them a little bit more money, it appears to be that there simply is something that, you know, developers are, you know, starting to, in a sense, realize is as their colleagues are leaving, this is a time where probably projects have to be being caught up with, or this is a time where probably po projects, you know, are probably in their really critical phases, and they need people to come in there and start doing stuff. Now, the difference is even interesting, because if you look at a studio like, you know, Ubisoft Redstorm, Redstorm seems to be in a solid place. Now, yes, they are hiring, but we haven't necessarily heard anything, um, you know, that is different in the sense because Red Storm has not always been a huge studio like Massive. Maybe at one, they, they have been an important studio, don't get me wrong, but in their case, I just think it's a matter of just finding people. If you look, they've been posting their hiring, you know, notification for a long time. And so this is definitely something that, you know, they are probably also in their own sense finding a little challenging to find the right people to get the job done. So here's what I usually say. I usually say, man, this is the time right now for anyone who wants to develop a video game or anybody wants to go into game development, this is their time to actually start making some serious moves. Uh, even one of our audience members was having a discussion with me on Twitter and they said, man, they, they specifically made you know, uh, this statement. And I'm not gonna mention the name of the audience member. I just wanna keep that under wraps for now. And he said, you know, if you, you said something about game development right now, he said, if you, if you pick making games as a career, you got some options in life, where you want to work, how you want to work, and perhaps even in some cases, what you want to make. So even though we may be hearing, oh, you know, game development, you know, right now, many developers, uh, development studios aren't paying game developers and all of that stuff. Honestly, I think right now there's a lot of room if you're very qualified and if you're actually very skilled at it, you can pretty much name your terms depending on what studios you're going to or at least get a better deal. I mean, we've seen some developers even leave Massive and, you know, they went to other studios that they felt were more conducive for their well-being or maybe just, you know, for their family situation. So this is what's going on right now in the, you know, in the entire game dev world, especially with AAA games and all of that. 
is the regional challenges that we're seeing in terms of different studios. Cary, North Carolina is here in the U.S. That's where Red Storm is located. So their own mandates and, you know, procedures in terms of how they're dealing with things is different from uh, Malmö, Sweden and, you know, Montreal, Canada. And I think this is a very critical point that we have to really pay a lot of attention to. One thing that a lot of folks, you know, don't necessarily consider in this conversation is Montreal. And I, I, I read this uh, a long time ago, and this was confirmed to me by one of our audience members, is that the city of Montreal actually, uh, or even the Canadian government, had a lot of incentives for studios to actually open up game development um, establishment and had given them a lot of incentives to do so. And so this is why you have a huge concentration of development that happens there. But, you know, with the entire, you know, health issue that we've been facing, they have also been subject to a lot of the rules and a lot of the different changes. So that's why you're also seeing some of the challenges manifest themselves in this way. But I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. I mean, it's a reality that we're facing. So how do you, uh, you know, how do we even walk through this? Is this something where we have to exercise a different level of patience? Is this something where we actually have to say to the developers, can you guys be much more open about communicating with your challenge, you know, communicating to us about your challenges? Now they are. I mean, I like, this, you know, post that I showed you from the producer who's basically trying to hire people. I wonder if, he, if they're hiring people for another Rainbow Six game because Rainbow Six Extraction is already coming out here in like nine days. I, I, my guess is they're hiring people to work on the division stuff or, you know, to work on a project within Massive. That's my, you know, thought because already you have the Star Wars game uh, that they're making. You have the Avatar game that they're finishing up. And so at the end of the day, I wonder if they're not moving our devs to those projects to, that, to give them a helping hand while they're trying to find people to come in and maybe continue whatever, you know, hidden uh, confidential project that is around Division that's going on within Massive. Because if you don't know, Massive is going to make another thing about Division. I don't know what it is, a Division 3 or whatever. They're not going to throw this franchise away. If that's not yet obvious, then I guess, I guess we could just stay tuned and see how that plays out. All right. Talk to you all in another video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Peace out.